You hear a cracking sound, look up, and a tree is leaning toward you. This massive trunk is about to strike and possibly crush you. You have nowhere to go. Is this the end, or is it just another day at work? This is how to survive the deadliest job in the world. Logging is often dubbed the world's most dangerous job. In 2006, statistics listed the fatality rate of loggers as more than 20 times that of any other occupation in the U.S. And since 2010, the risk of death for logging workers is 30 times higher. More than half of all logging-related deaths caused by falling or flying objects or from getting caught in or between them. 90% of these fatalities involved trees, logs, or limbs. Work in the logging industry may seem like a death sentence, but it doesn't have to be. The proper training and information can keep you yelling timber instead of help. What should you do if a tree is falling toward you? Why should you avoid being by the stump? And how could a pair of chaps save your life? Step 1. Gear up. Proper personal protective equipment is essential for safe logging. In addition to the basics like gloves and ear protection, you'll want to wear a hard hat. Loggers are frequently killed by tree branches and limbs striking them in the head. While sunglasses may look cool, they're not much protection. Face meshes are essential for keeping your eyes, nose, and mouth safe from flying debris. Wear chaps that are made of Kevlar or ballistic nylon. In case a chainsaw slips, these materials will keep your legs intact. But while all this safety equipment can save you from some serious injuries, it won't help if you get crushed by a falling tree. Step 2. Chainsaw Safely Most of us associate chainsaws with crazed murderers from slasher movies, with good reason. Chainsaws are the cause of frequent injuries to tree fellers, especially when it comes to the hands, arms, and legs. When operating a chainsaw, make sure to follow safety rules carefully. To start, it needs to be properly sharpened. Chain tension and control settings should all be checked before firing it up. Start the saw while standing on level ground with the chain break on. Get a good grip on the handles. Your footing secure. And don't cut overhead. And don't let your hand get possessed by a demon. Step 3. Plan your retreat. By far, the most dangerous part of logging is tree felling. Most deaths occur within three meters of the stump. Gary Edinger, a 68-year-old logger, found this out firsthand, or leg. He was felling a tree when the trunk started to split, making its fall very unpredictable. He started to run, but it struck him and tore his leg clean off. Edinger tried to make a tourniquet for the bleeding, but it kept breaking. Bleeding, he managed to drag himself to his vehicle and drive clear of the forest to call emergency services. Ten months and pint of transfused blood later, he returned to the woods and finished off the tree that took his leg off. To avoid this fate, make sure you carefully plan your felling direction. Consider the lean of the tree and the scope of the ground and have a clear escape path. You should create two routes on the opposite side of the tree from the direction it is expected to fall. They should be 45 degrees from each other. Use the saw's chain break when you're finished cutting. Never turn your back on a tree while it's falling. Move at least six meters away and take cover behind another tree if you can. Step four, release tension. After a tree is felled, it must be limbed and bucked. Limbing is the chopping off of any branches or limbs. Bucking is cutting it up into lumber. Once a tree comes down, there's a risk of it sliding or springing back up when being limbed or bucked, which can easily cause serious injury. Check for any overhead hazards and cut from the uphill side in case the tree rolls. You don't want a tree taking revenge on you. Step 5. Skid with care. Next to felling, skidding is the most dangerous part of logging. It involves moving lumber to the loading area. There's always a risk of being pinned or struck by the loading vehicle, 
so make sure you're communicating clearly with the vehicle operator. Another hazard during this process is being pinned or crushed by rolling lumber. Make sure lumber is stacked in a stable way and always hook or unhook chokers from the uphill side. Logging can be deadly, but most of the dangers of the profession can be avoided with proper safety measures and careful technique. Plan each move carefully and be ready to make split-second decisions when things don't go as expected. But a tree falling on you is only one of the many threats that forests contain. Could you live through being stranded in one? Find out more here on How to Survive.